Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In this video, we're going to learn uh, the formula for calculating the area of a triangle. And this is one of the concepts of further trigonometry that I couldn't make a video on. So here it is. All right, so here's the formula. I'm sure you must have seen this formula somewhere. It's half into A into B into sine C. Now, what we're going to do in this video is that we're going to learn how this formula is used and how exactly, when exactly, in fact, do we apply this formula. So one formula for calculating the area of triangle is something that you and I are, are all familiar with. We've been using this since day one. Ever since we were introduced to triangles, we've been using this formula. And that formula was half into base into height. And the relationship between base and height is that they are perpendicular to one another. So if this is your base, this is your height. So this is one formula that, like I said, we've been using since day one. So how does this formula come into existence? Well, I'm not exactly going to go into how it comes into existence because then we're just going to drift in some other direction. Instead, I'm going to go and I'm going to speak to you about how exactly do we use this formula. So here you can see we have A and B. Now A and B are basically two lengths and C is an angle. So does that mean we can apply this, this formula if we have two lengths and one angle? Not exactly. Why? Because there are a couple of conditions that need to be ful fulfilled because there, because there are a couple of conditions because there are a couple of conditions that need to be fulfilled before you can use this formula. Okay, so let's say we have a triangle here and the capital letters are usually used to represent angles. And the way that we mark our lengths is that the opposite of capital A, the opposite, the length opposite of angle A is going to be lowercase a, the length opposite of angle B is going to be lowercase b, and the length opposite of angle C is going to be lowercase c. Now, when exactly do we use this formula? Well, there are two conditions that must be fulfilled. Condition number one is that you should have two lengths, any two lengths, in fact, for that matter. Condition number two is that you should have an included angle and if I were to elaborate on this this basically means that you need to have the angle between the two lengths that you intend to use angle between the two lengths okay and what two lengths these two lengths so does that mean that this formula has to be half into a into b into sin c not at all this formula can be half into A into C. So you can see that I'm using these two lengths. That means the angle that I'm going to use now is B. So I'm going to multiply this by sine of B. Remember to put, to take the angle, to take the sine of the angle that you're going to use. And what if, let's say we don't have A and C, instead we have B and C. So yeah, that also works. So in that case, you're going to do half into B into C. And in this case, the angle that you're going to use is going to be sine a. All right, so let's further understand this with the help of some example questions, some examples with actual values in them. So let's say you have a triangle that looks like this. Okay, and let's say this is P, this is Q, this is R. Let's say this is 85 degrees, let's say this is 12, and let's say this is 15 centimeter, centimeter. So here you can see that we have two lengths and we have an included angle given to us. So we can straight away apply the formula and get our area for this triangle. So half into 12 into 15 into sine 85. So I'm gonna use my calculator to work this out. So 0.5 into 12 into 15 into sine 85, bracket close. That gives me 89.65 and the standard rule says that I need to give my answer correct to three significant figures, so 89.7 centimeter square. All right, so that was one very basic example. Let's do another example. So in this case, let's say, okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of tweak in this example. So let's say you have a triangle and uh, whoops, <laughs> okay. So let's say you're given 40 degrees. Let's say this is 35. Let's say this is 18.2 centimeter and this is 11 centimeter. Okay, now what do we do? 
Well, we do have two lengths, but we don't have an included angle. So does that mean we can't apply this formula anymore? Not at all. Why? Because we can very conveniently work out the third angle. So let's say I call this X, Y, and Z. So that means angle Z or Z, whatever you want to call it, is equal to 105 degrees. Now I know this doesn't look like an obtuse angle, but we'll just let it be. So area equals to half into 11 into 18.2 into sine of 105 degrees. So let's quickly work this out. 0.5 into 11 into 18.2 into sine of 105. So what we get is, 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 is 96.68. So again, our rule says that we need to round this off correct to three significant figures. So 97.7 centimeters squared. 96.7 in fact okay now let's do one more example and this will be the last example for this video in this I'm not going to take a triangle instead what if we take a parallelogram now you, I know what you're thinking you're probably thinking oh yeah that's very simple you can always divide a parallelogram into two triangles and if that's what you're thinking you're doing a great job because that's exactly what I'm going to do so let's say this is 18 centimeter and let's say this is eight centimeter okay and let's say that this angle is equal to well what does it look like okay let's say 70 degrees all right so now let's say we want to work out the area of this parallelogram now i know like i said the formula that i just introduced you guys to half into a into b into sine c is applied to triangles only so can we turn this parallelogram into a triangle? The answer is, well, we can't turn it into one triangle, but we can always turn it into two identical triangles. Okay, so in that case, the length opposite of 18 will also be 18 since it's a parallelogram, of course. So if I wanna work out the area of this parallelogram, I'll do half into 18 into eight into sine 70. And since I have two identical triangles, I'm just gonna multiply it by two. So these two get canceled out. Let's quickly work out the area. 18 times 8 into sine 70. So that's 135.3, 135.3 centimeter square. So we'll just lock it at 135 centimeter square. All right, so I hope you guys understood this concept well. And uh, that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to check out the remaining parts of this video also. And let me know in the comment section what you think of this video. Alright, so that's all for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.